This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use a new Casio 570 OEX calculator to solve the binomial distribution type of questions here. So let's say at the beginning in the exam, you have something uh, like x is binomial. When you see b here is a binomial, this is a parameter for binomial. If the parameter for normal distribution, you will see this b actually will change into the n here, just remember. So if you see b binomial here, the first digit here is mean n, okay? And then the second uh, number here is mean p, probability of success. n will be total number of trial, okay? So it can be uh, happen for any kind of event, it doesn't matter, but you just need to know the first one will be n, the second one will be p here. So if you ask me what's the q value here, we know q equals to 1 minus p, which is 1 minus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.7. Okay, so if you want to find q, if you want to find mean and all that, you know it's np, and then the variance will be npq and so on, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. So in this video, I. I'm going to teach you how to do this manually and then at the same time I will show you how to use these uh, new calculators to solve it as well. Alright, so if I want to find when when my probability for x is equal to 3 here, so I have a formula for it. So the formula is something like this. When x equals to r, the formula is something like ncr and then first one we insert p power of r and then q power of n minus r. Okay, because of this formula, so I can kind of like solve this one easily. So when my probability x equals to 3, you realize my r right now is a 3 right now. It's a 3, isn't it? And n value we already have, which is 10. So it'll be 10c3. p value is just 0 0.3. And then r is power of 3. q will be 0 0.7. And then this is n minus r, which is 10 minus 3, which is 7. Right, then I will just type this one into my calculator. You can see here 10C, C is above the divide button here. 10C3, multiply 0 0.3, power of 3, and then multiply 0 0.7, power of 7. Right, then you will realize this is my answer, which is a 0 0.2668. Alright, this is my answer if I want to find when x equals to 3. But how are we going to use a calculator to get this answer? Alright, so this is what you need to do. Go into the menu, look for the 7, which is distribution. Okay, or you can just type 7 in the calculator. And then you you want to look for the binomial PD. Okay, so I look for the binomial PD, which is number 4 here. And then over here, I just uh, do the variable. Later, I will teach you uh, what is list here. But right now, we only do variable, which is 2. Alright, so over here you can insert your x value, your n value, and your p value. My x right now is 3, then x equals to 3, so I know my x is 3. And my n is 10, then it num total number of trial. And p is the probability of success, which is 0 0.3. And I insert everything. The calculator should be able to get me quite accurate answer, which is 0 0.2668. 0 0.2668, so it's exactly the same value here. Okay, so we go into the second example, it will be more complicated because when it say when x is less than 3, x is less than 3, right? So what you want to do is you kind of know uh, you need to list out all the value less than 3, then it? it can be uh, x equals to 0 because 0 is less than 3. And then you kind of need to plus the second one, maybe x equals to 1. And you kind of need to plus another one, uh, which is x equals to 2. Because less than 3 doesn't include 3, right? So I no need to plus x equals to 3. So I'll just leave it here. Okay, then each of this one, I need, kind of need to apply this formula for each of this. Okay, so I, I will just show you here, uh, which is the first one is 10c0, and then p is 0 0.3 power of 0, and then 0 0.3. 7 power of 10 because 10 c 0 is 1 and 0 0.3 power of 0 is 1 so I can say the first one is just 0 0.7 power of 10 so 0 0.7 power of 10 here okay then the next one is x equals to 1 so I will do 10 c 1 plus 0 0.3 power of 1 and then 0 0.7 power of 9 all right then I plus the next one which is 10 c 2 0 0.3 power of 2, 0 0.7 power of 8. Yeah, it's kind, kind of a lot of work here. Then I will need to uh, 
solve it. So I change my calculator back to the normal. So the first one is is okay, just 0 0.7 power of 10 here. If I want to change it to decimal, definitely I can do that if I want. So it's uh, 0 0.0282. Okay, then the next one is our 10C1. I will just tap 10C1 and then multiply 0 0.3 power 1, multiply 0 0.7 power of 9 here. Okay, so the second one will be 0 0.1211. All right, I write, write it off. Then the next one is kind of similar, so I will just go back, change my 1 into the 2 here. It's going to save me some time. So this one will be power of 2, isn't it? So I just give you a square here. And then the next one, this one will be power of 8, right? Because it's 10 minus 2, which is 8 here. So then I type equal, then I have 0 0.2335. And then I will plus everything together. So I will use the last answer here, plus 0 0.1211, plus 0 0.0282. All right, then I plus everything already. I will have 0 0.3828. Okay, this is my final answer after I plus like every single one. But definitely, if I want to use a calculator, it's going to save me a lot of time here. But like what I always say in my video is calculator is for you to check your answer, but then you kind of need to always show this working in order to get your full mark. Remember that? But then the good thing about calculator, we can always make sure our answer is correct or wrong. Okay, so you can see what's the difference between example one and example two. Example one, the sign here is equal, but for the example two, the sign here is less than. This sign we call inequality sign. We call inequality sign. That means not necessarily less than, it can be bigger, it can be bigger, it can be less or equal, or bigger or equal. Okay, it can be any of this sign or, or just less here. Okay, but then in order to do this in the calculator, you need to understand how the calculator works here. Okay, I will go in the menu, I go into seven, which is uh, distribution. Just in case I too fast, I just, just show you the distribution here, seven. Okay, then over here, you need to look for the binomial CD, not PD. Okay, PD is for equal sign. CD is for inequality sign. So then I need to come down here. So do you see binomial CD? I go for one. Okay, then I'll go for the variable, which is two here. Okay, now you have some problem here. Okay, of definitely you kind of, you kind of know your x value is 3 and then n value is 10, p value is 0 0.3, but it's not exactly correct here. And you realize another problem is you, there's no way for you to key in the inequality sign into this calculator. So therefore, you kind of need to know what's the preset for this calculator. So for this calculator, the preset ready, the x value must be less or equals to a. That's mean, if, if I do something like x is less or equal to 3, then the answer I find is between, uh, I will plus the probability x equals to 3, plus the probability x equals to 2, plus the probability x equals to 1, and then plus the probability x equals to 0. That means this is what happened when I, if I insert 3 here. And because of you understand the preset one have the equals for the inequality and it must be less than, okay, because it's preset already. So over here, you cannot insert the tree for your x here because like what I say, if you insert the tree here, it included the x equals to tree. But in this case, you do not want x equals to tree, isn't it? So when you insert that time, you cannot insert your x is tree. You need to use two. Because what? Because if I change my x, will be less or equals to 2. This is what I will get. I will get x equals to 2 plus x equals to 1 plus x equals to 0, isn't it? Then this is exactly what I want. You can see this is exactly what I want. Okay, this is the reason why, yeah, for this kind of example, it is, you need to do with like very carefully because yeah, a lot of students, they see x and then they see 3, then you just insert the 3 here and then you might get your final answer wrong here. Okay, then n value is still the same, is 10. And the p value is still the same, is 0 
and then I type equal I hope I will get the answer like very close to the final answer here so the calculator will tell me is 0 0.3828 which is exactly the same answer I find here okay like what I said just now there's a list button right because the good thing about this calculator they have a list button so I can not only check the final answer, I can also check all, all this answer because sometimes your final answer is wrong, not necessarily all the answer is wrong here, isn't it? Maybe just one of it you count wrongly affect your final answer. So how, how am I going to check all this answer? Okay, so you go back to the distribution 7 and here you can look for the binomial PD if you want to check uh, each of these answer. Then I'll go for number 4. Okay, then you go for number 1 which is the least button here. Okay, so over here, because you can insert your x value easily, so over here, I want to know, oh, when x equals to 0, when x equals to 1, when x equals to 2. Definitely, if you have other value, like maybe you want to know when x equals to 5, 6, 7, 8, then you can just insert here. But over here, I just want to double check my 0, 1, and 2. Okay, then I will just tap equal. Okay, then it will ask my n value is 10, my probability is 0 0.3, P value is 0 0.3, so no need to change anything here. Then I type equal. Then you realize I can check every single one. The first one is 0 0.282, which is correct. The second one will be 0 0.1211, which is correct. Then the next one will be 0 0.2335, which is correct. Okay, so I find the least button here is like so useful, especially if you are a student who need to like do this topic because this topic there's a loss of work working here so very easy to make mistake especially when the power is very big and then the probability decimal you have a lot of decimal here so when you do this kind of question you must be very careful but if you have a very useful calculator it's kind of help you a lot for this kind of topics all right before i end this video i will go into the one last example here okay this example it's like this it look easy but if you want to use a calculator like what i say because this calculator they preset ready the probability for x right must be less or equals to a so in this case you have the sign which is bigger so what you can do here is because when x is bigger or than seven because we know n value is 10 right so if you do manually it's kind of need to do or uh, this is equals to a plus probability x equals to 9 and then plus probability x equals to 10. Definitely you can use the list button like what I say just now. You go into the binomial PD because PD is for equal, right? So right now I have the equal and I go for the list here. I just want to know 8, 9 and 10. And then I change my value here 10 and 0 0.3 which is exactly the same. Then I will get all these uh, very small number here. Of course, uh, if you want to change into decimal, you can do that, uh, which is 0 point. 10 power of negative 3, that means you have 3 zero in front here, is 1, 4, 5 maybe. And the next one is even smaller, uh, which is 0 0.004014 maybe, <laughs> because it's a very small number here. And this one is even smaller, uh, which is 0 0.6012. Uh, just now, just now it's power negative 4, isn't it? I think I accidentally write one more zero because it's total up, it's only have four zero. One, two, three, four zero, and then this is one four. And next one is six zero. Well, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I will just use this one as a six here. Okay, so if I want to add all these numbers, right? So Okay, I kind of do manually first. 0 0.00145 and then plus 0 0.00014 and then plus 0, 0.0. Yeah, there's a lot of zero here. So when you do the time, you must be quite careful. Okay, so this is the answer we get, uh, which is 0 0.001596. Okay, this is what I get from a calcul uh, calculator if I do manually. But if you want to use a calculator to do this, uh, there's few things you can do because you know it's less than equals to A, right? So what I can do is I can use the one to minus the property X must be, because this one starts from uh, 
start from A, right? Start from A, right? That means I can do less or equals to 7. Basically here, this is what I'm doing here is I will use 1 to minus 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Then I will get uh, 8, 9, and 10 returned. So what I will do right now is I will go to the distribution 7, come down from binomial CD, 1 here and go for variable. My x value here, I will do 7. And then n will be 10. And then this one will be 0 0.3. And the calculator will tell me some answer here. Uh, which is 0 0.9984. All right, then I will just, just use the 1. I just go here. Use the 1 to minus 0 0.9984. Then I will get the answer. Actually, it's quite close here. <laughs> yeah, definitely I cannot get like super accurate, but then I believe it's accurate enough. 0, 0, 0016. So you re realize if I round off the 9 to, toward the 5 here, I kind of get 16, right? So which is the same answer as well. Alright, so this is just another method to do this kind of questions. Yeah, first method is you can use the binomial PD, use the list button to, to get your value for 8, 9, and 10. And then you add Add them up manually but because sometimes the n value can be very big so you want to add manually we're going to take you some time then you can use the binomial cd but just remember here but the binomial cd the sign will be always less and equal okay have the equal here so when you do this topic right using the calculator you must use it very carefully i hope you find this video helpful to you if you are interested to get this calculator I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here. You just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like five ringgit off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye